Hi guys, it's Mel here from Mel W Scrappy. I'm here to bring you a layout that I am going to do for um, Karen Carr's um, 800 subscriber hop. Um, she has a YouTube channel called Creating with Karen, um, which I will put all her details in the description box down below. She also has a Facebook group as well. Now, Karen's actually going to be doing a giveaway for this one. Um, let me read through it here. So the theme is bright and bold. So we start posting our videos today, the 6th of um, November. The giveaway will run for the week of the 6th to the 13th and winners will be drawn 9pm Australian Eastern Standard Time on the 13th and they'll be notified via Facebook. So to be in running for the draw, you have to like all Create with Karen videos posted in the month of November, including the 13th. Um, I've got the link. Then head over to my Facebook group and comment on the giveaway post with the country you live in. Link below. Um, now there's different prizes for international and Australian. Um, so check all that out. Um, and so we're going to do bright and bold. Now, so with this page for Karen, um, I'm going to do it in conjunction with uh, one of Christy's, uh, Christy's Beautiful Life, Christy, uh, Christy Harmon, um, one of her sketches that she has made, um, exclusive sketches. Um, and it's a little bit of a challenge for this month for 30 days of sketches. So if you wanted to play along with these, by all means, go to 30 Days of Sketches with Christy's Beautiful Life Facebook group. Grab the four sketches that she's got on there. This is the first, or oh, this is the first one that I'm attempting, this one here. I'll lift it up for you. If I can get it without getting... Oh, there we go. I don't know that's going to come up very well. Anyway, it's come, my t-shirt's coming through. Um... Now, last night, I did a page uh, for the most magical place on earth hop, and this was it. So I did mine as the rainbow um, when we went to Coles Bay. So there is a video for this. So what I wanted is I had two more, vi two more, post uh, two more photos, but they were landscape. So I'm going to make a sister page and do it with... Christie's design there. A uh, little bit of a difference, not too much. We'll see how we go. Um, these ones weren't as clear. There's a clearer rainbow there. Don't know if you can see that on there. And that's really like light. So first things we're going to do is, I had a stencil, where did I put the stencil? I have that big a mess, you have no idea, from last night to today. <clears throat> there it is. I did this. Which side did I do? Because I didn't clean it. So I'm just going to do a few rainbows at the top of the, okay, the photos. Hang on. That goes there. I'll just put my corners in so I know where I'm going. Uh, now the ink that I'm using, some of these will be hidden, but put it down again. Um, it is the Distress Ink Saltwater Taffy. Okay. 
see how many of them get covered. So that's my stenciling. Now, I'm also playing along with um, this month. Um, for, for the next 12 months, each month will have a different um, thing that we'll be playing with. Um, Christy from Christy's Beautiful Life and Moira O'Reilly um, have put together a Facebook group and they're doing a year-long spending freeze. So it's coming up with different ideas and different ways to use the stash that you've got instead of going out and buying brand new stuff all the time. Um, now, I'm going to be playing along to a, to a point. I don't have anywhere near as much stash as what some of these ladies have. But I have some really old stash I want to get rid of before I buy anything new in regards to pattern paper. So the only thing I will be buying throughout the year is a need, not a want situation. So if I'm running out of cardstock or coloured cardstock, then I'll purchase that. But pattern paper I won't. Um, and we'll see how we go. Um, so this month uh, for November is to use stamps or stencils. So I've used my stencil. Um, now... I wrote on this one, unlike last night, that's the top. I was getting myself all confused last night. I was extremely tired and sore because here in Australia, um, Tasmania especially, or mainland Australia too actually, they've had enough rain as well. Um, we've had nothing but rain and wind and like we had enough of it all summer, that alone continuing into spring. And of course, the last few days have been absolutely beautiful here. In fact, today's even warmer. Hopefully, it's a sign that more summer is to, or summer conditions are to come. Because I am over the rain and the wind. Um, and so we got outside. We haven't been able to mow our lawns all winter because where we are. We're so flat, um, there's nowhere for the water to go. So it just soaks the ground and um, just sits there. And of course, uh, there's been no weekend that it hasn't rained. So we haven't been able to get the lawns mowed. So for last week, I think last weekend... We had a fine weekend and my husband got some of it done. Some of it, there was still water sitting, so he didn't worry about it. And so this week, like yesterday, we got all of it mowed. Then the rest of it, whipper snipped today. Um, now, I had this so that we didn't have to cut anything off. I think it was about... So I was absolutely exhausted last night and sore. Right, I'm at the top, so I've got that now. Take that off. Um, that this was really, I really didn't know what I was doing last night because I was so tired. And this turned out beautiful. So I thought, hey, let's match it. Now, I had a piece of um, sweet brush, Vicky Wooten sweet brush, that was the clouds um, on that side. And I decided, I did have it so that it was going like that, but it wasn't as bright and bold as what I wanted. Now, I've got to try and keep this straight because my eyes are going funny before. It wasn't really as bold as I wanted. So you pop the photos there. And I thought, hmm. I want a little bit of a difference because I've got no more big flowers here. I kind of want a little bit of a difference. I want it the same, yes, like with the border. And I've got a bit of bit left that I've cut down of the rainbow paper to put the flowers on on top. To go along the top like um, Christy has so I've done that so then I decided to turn the paper over and this is what I found and I love it I think that makes 
makes it even more bright and bold. So that's what we're going with. I could be wrong. I might not be as tired and may not be as making the same decisions as last night. But I kind of liked it. And sometimes it's not what you should do. It's what you like. And you, you know, there's no right or wrong in scrapbooking. Um, Karen, on I know I've been following Karen for a fair while now. And she's, she uses a lot of stencils and bright colours and... Oh, she's a very clever woman, actually. Um, and um, I thought, hey, hang on, let's go with, let's go with really bright and bold. Let's just be out there. So I wanted this to, you know, be a sister page. So this one can be slightly different. Get that so that goes down into that corner. Right. This is where my eyes were going a bit funny before. Couldn't tell if I was straight, crooked or what. But I think it doesn't matter. Now, the other thing that I was going to show you is I didn't have enough pink to cut the correct size for the backing of these ones. So I have pieced it together. You wouldn't know unless I told you. So and it's all a matter of, I have found, experimenting. There's no right or wrong, just experimenting. And I've been quite, it's been quite fun. So I've been here since I think lunchtime today trying to figure out what papers to use, what papers not to use. And then when I turned that over I thought, that's exactly what I want. Exactly. Okay, that's about right. Take that down there. Right now, let's get this down. I could have even used that. Oh no, it doesn't quite go. That's more black. And I know my sticker, um, my border sticker is slightly bigger, but you can still see the bits of colour coming, coming out now. Chris, you have that up here. I think I might go up there. I wasn't going to, but I think I might. You'll notice I've left a gap on these two because my I'd already cut a few little flowers off this border. <clears throat> and um, I've done it for a reason. Make sure that we line up, but get the edge over there. Alright, so there's that. I don't like that. I think I'll go with that. This is an Amy Tangerine. I might just stick some more sticky on that. Um, out of the uh, one of her packs that I uh, won. Um, that was from Sharon, I think, from Soul Scrappers Facebook group. These came in and I love them. I'm going to go, looking on the bright side of life is a choice you'll never regret. Because this was a day, as I explained in my video last night, this was a day that started off beautiful. We went up to um, the hazards to do the um, hike to Wineglass Bay lookout. And we no sooner got home, actually we got home just in the nick of time. Um, I had a flare out as well. Where did I put that? Um, just in the nick of time before a bit of a storm came through. And then the, storm, the the actual rain stopped, the sun came out, and then the rainbow happened, and then we got blowing a gale wind. Over here. Oh, where did I put that? No, oh, there. So, because I haven't got another gnome that, um, this little gnome here that I did on this page, he's got a little bucket of flowers, but I've decided that that was, to me, 
his bucket of gold, you know, he's a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Um, so I've gone into the flare hut. Oh, this doesn't want to focus again today. I'm having a bad day with this, aren't I? Might be able to do it. I'll do a photo of it at the end. Um, it's, a, it's got gnomes on it because I didn't have another um, wood veneer one. So we're going to add that in today. I'll get a bit of foam on that. So let's get our title on. I've got some very big letters that are going to go across the bottom. Like, I think it's going to go right across the bottom. Where's my Z? N G. Right. So I've gone like that as a big title, but to keep him with some of the red on the other page, I wanted the word wow. And we can go on the photos for this. I wanted to I wanted the title to say wow amazing. So go what Yeah, like that. Let's start it down. Let's get this. I've hand cut some flowers out um, as well. That's out of another Amy Tangerine paper. I can't off the top of my head tell you what. It's, oh, that's Brave and Bold collection. Sort of fits in with the theme. I think this was out of Brave and Bold as well. Okay, come on nails. Don't fail me now. And I nearly, I thought, had a feeling this morning that I'd forgotten to do something and then it clicked that, oh, Karen's hop, I forgot about it. So I said, I have to do it after Karen. But it, I was on the right day, I just hadn't got anywhere near done. I've been doing quite, chugging out quite a few layouts last month and I think I just needed a couple of days rest and just to get outside, I think. I mean, it could, could have came down lower on the page, but I think it looks quite good like that. Anyway. I'm going with it. These are very old alphas that I had. Let's make sure this is still recording. Yes, it is. I don't know why it's not doing the focus thing. I don't know what I've pressed. So in the description box there will be people playing along with this hop and I'll also put the link to the 30 days of sketches um, playlist for last month because this will probably be in that scrapbooking, uh, the Facebook group um, section. Right, wow, amazing. Now, firstly, cut flowers. I need to have some flowers up the top. What have I done here? Go like that somehow. So I'm going to 
didn't come over here. I think I'll go like that. <clears throat> that one can come I think similar to that. I like that. Another white cream one I can pop there. Okay, let's go with that. How I've got that. I think I might not even go with that. I might just go like that. Change my mind again. Right, let's go like that. Go like that. Yep, I could go out there like that. Let's get that to go under these guys. Let's go. that that's on there so I've got to do this one up here that there. hopefully you can see what I'm doing here I'm probably off screen Fingers don't want to work, do they? I'm going to go there like that. Now, where am I going to pop my little gnome? I think we'll pop our gnome flare there. Now the only other thing I haven't done was go around the edge like this. Then I put my ink pad, and I need to put some gems on. I did that on that other one as well.
I'm not going to mount on whether I've got a certain amount of clusters or whatever. Because uh, otherwise, I, I think it's enough as it is. Um, so we're just going to do the gems. So let's go. Might be here. We'll go over here. Go down in here. Okay. Now I was going to try and put some little llama rainbow heads. Let's go with hiding some of these. I just want the head to go. Another one in here. There. Another little llama head. Okay. So we'll go double one. And that can go up here with the gnomes. Okay. My daughter loves llamas, so there we go. So that is what we've done. I don't know if that's focusing, can't really tell properly. Okay, so that is the sister page to this one here. It's how it'll be in my album. I'm quite happy with that. That's last night, this is today's. And this is for Karen's 800 subscriber hop and giveaway. And... I think it is bright and bold. Hopefully it's okay. Uh, okay, so, and in conjunction with Christy's um, exclusive sketch that she did. So Now, the other thing that I'm going to do before I go is I won't actually do the journaling, but I'll pop where I'm going to journal. Because Christy does have that on her thing, and I will do some on this one because I do want to explain about the rainbow. I think if we come down here like this, that is what, where our journaling will be. May not need all those lines, but at least they're there and we know. Okay, so now, if you think that you might like to have a go at this sketch or um, press pause, take a screenshot and have a go. Um, you might come up with something completely different or have a go at Christie's. Um, have a go at Karen's uh, bright and bold theme, um, by all means. Um, check out everything that I've got in the description box below because there'll be Facebook groups, there'll be the giveaway things, there'll be Christie's Beautiful Life sketch links, etc., um, I'll have everything listed down below and there's quite there's a few people playing along with Ka um, Karen's hop um, to help her celebrate um, yes I do that at the same time if you do like what I did if you could give me a thumbs up that'd be great um, if you're new to my channel please subscribe it doesn't cost to subscribe like or comment same when you check out everyone else down below in the description box um, Go and check them out, give them a like, send them a message, of you. pick something that you might like about their layout out and send them a message about it. So make, make them feel good. Um, at the same time, subscribe if you're not already because it doesn't cost to do any of those things at all. Um, and I will have Karen's link as well to her all her things um, and check it all out. So thank you everyone for watching. Thank you to all my subscribers and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.